disciples of truth, lovers of virtue, seekers of wisdom, you also, who are sorrow-stricken, knowing the emptiness of the self-life, and who aspire to the life that is supremely beautiful and serenely joyful, take now yourselves in hand, enter the door of discipline, and know the better life. Put away self-delusion, behold yourself as you are, and see the path of virtue as it is. There is no lazy way to truth. He who would stand upon the mountain's summit must strenuously climb, and must rest only to gather strength. But if the climbing is less glorious than the cloudless summit, it is still glorious. Discipline in itself is beautiful, and the end result of discipline is sweet. Rise early and meditate. Begin each day with a conquered body, and a mind fortified against error and weakness. Temptation will never be overcome by unprepared fighting. The mind must be armed and arrayed in the silent hour. It must be trained to perceive, to know, to understand. Sin and temptation disappear when right understanding is developed. Right understanding is reached through unabated discipline. Truth cannot be reached but through discipline. Patience will increase by effort and practice and patience will make discipline beautiful. Discipline is irksome to the impatient man and the lover of self, so he avoids it and continues to live loosely and confusedly. Discipline is not irksome to the lover of truth, and he will find the infinite patience which can wait, work, and overcome. Just as the joy of the gardener who sees his or her flowers develop day by day, so is the joy of the man of discipline, who sees the divine flowers of purity, wisdom, compassion, and love grow within his heart. The loose liver cannot escape sorrow and pain. The undisciplined mind falls, weak and helpless, before the fierce onslaught of passion. Array your mind then, lover of truth. Be watchful, thoughtful, and resolute. Your salvation is at hand. Your readiness and effort are all that are needed. If you fail ten times, do not be disheartened. If you should fail a hundred times, rise up and pursue your way. If you should fail a thousand times, do not despair. When the path is entered, success is sure if the path is not utterly abandoned. First strife and then victory first labor and then rest, first weakness and then strength. In the beginning the lower life and the glare and confusion of battle, and at the end the life beautiful, the silence and the peace. All common things, each day's events, that with the hour begin and end, our pleasures and our discontents are rounds by which we may ascend. We have not wings, we cannot soar, but we have feet to scale and climb.